And again, it has like that 90s vibe, which is really in right now. Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominique, and for all of my returning subscribers, so pleased to have you back. So, I get a ton of requests on featuring my designer handbag collection. I don't have too many designer handbags, but the ones that I have, I love. So, bit of a sad story. I had a really, really nice collection of designer handbags, including vintage handbags, and about four years ago, we had a break-in. This was two weeks before Christmas, and the thief came in and stole all of my designer handbags, with the exception of two. So. Um, I have one of them here, the other one I sold. It was pretty devastating. Nobody was hurt in the break-in, but the sense of violation was real. It was scary and really terrible, but yeah. Thankfully for us, we have really great home insurance. We were totally covered. The thief also stole all of my photographic equipment, my cameras, my lenses, you name it. It, it really sucked. Anyways, like I said, our home insurance covered it. I got a really nice big check to go out and replace everything. But, you know, I had been collecting these bags for over a decade. And for instance, I bought a Louis Vuitton Speedy like 16 years ago. It cost $700. And when I got my insurance check to go out and replace these bags, that same Speedy was $1,200. Now, what's great about home insurance is that they reimburse you for the current value of whatever got stolen. So I got $1,200 to replace that bag, but I just didn't feel that for me it was worth it. So I didn't replace everything. I replaced things that I really loved and used or missed. And then the other stuff, I just didn't bother. And I don't buy nearly as many designer handbags as I used to because I feel like they're prohibitively expensive these days. And I don't think that the price is justified. So I banked a lot of the money that I got from home insurance and yeah, replaced a few other things. Anyways, that's the story behind my designer handbag collection and how it's kind of evolved over the years. So yeah. Okay, enough talk, let's get into these handbags. Okay, so let's start off with this handbag. It's the Gucci Marmont striped handbag. It's kind of like a, like a wristlet or a wallet on chain. This was an impulse buy. I actually went into Gucci looking for the bigger version of this bag, but they were sold out. But I loved this design, so I went ahead and bought it, and it turned out to be the best buy ever. I didn't think I would use this bag as much as I do, but I use it all the time. It's also beautiful. Like Whenever I wear it, people stop me and ask about it. This is actually a vintage print that Gucci brought back from their archives, and I absolutely love it. The chain is gold. I feel like the black and white actually goes with a lot of stuff and I love the bright pink satin interior. This is the bag that I used all weekend and yeah, I just get so much wear out of it. So there's little card slots in there and a zippered slot. It's bigger than it looks too. You can stuff a ton in here, love it. Okay, so next up is this really old Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Pochette. And this is one of the bags that the thief actually left behind. I guess he didn't like it. It's a really basic little black bag. I use it when, you know, I have an event to go to. Uh, it goes with everything. It's epi leather. It's really, really durable. It smells really good too. It smells like really fine leather. I actually, I, I don't use it as much as I used to, but these little bags, like the sh I feel like the shape is back in. I'm seeing a lot of people with uh, these little bags again. So maybe I'll bust it out more often, but this bag has served me really, really well. Love it. Okay, so the next bag is my oh, Gucci Dionysus. Dionysus, I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this, but this was a bag that I bought. Uh, it was for my birthday about two, three years ago. I was so excited when I got this bag. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. It's like a little work of art. So here you go. I love this bag. It is stunning. So I love the blue suede. I love the painted flowers on the bag. It's got the chain I would say is pewter colored. When you open up the bag, it's got a flat pocket. I have a letter in there that my sister wrote to me, a little note, and it's it, it means a lot to me, so I keep it in this bag. And yeah, this bag doesn't hold very much. I thought this bag would hold a lot. It doesn't. It's kind of annoying. The chain is also crazy heavy. While I love this bag and I think it's a work of art, I'm not sure I'll keep it. I might sell it. It's just a pain. The weather here in Ottawa is also terrible most of the time, so I, I don't get to use it. I'm on the fence about this bag, but I do love it. <laughs> Next up is this Louis Vuitton bag. It's the Pochette 26. I think it's called toiletry pouch, something like that, I can't remember. But I had to wait eight months for this little bag. I bought it because I wanted to use it as a clutch, but I actually end up using it as a makeup bag more often than anything. I'm really, really careful with it too. I don't want to mess it up, but yeah, I will use it as a clutch when I'm going out. This little pouch is always sold out. Like I said, I put my name down on a waiting list at Louis Vuitton, gave it my credit card information. They called me eight months later and shipped it to me. So really glad that I got a brand new one. I don't know how much it costs now, but I only paid $385 or $395 Canadian for it. And I'm so glad that I nabbed one when I did. It's a really great little bag. It's really, versatile I wear it with everything but usually I just wear it with jeans like casual outfits and yeah it holds a ton I love it it was a great little buy so next up is a new bag this is the YSL Yves Saint Laurent Lulu bowling bag I think it's called and I love this so it's another bag with a heavy chain strap but the chain straps not too bad I feel like this bag was really worth the money. I actually bought it secondhand on Fashion File. It cost $11.95. I love this bag. First of all, the leather is like butter. It, the leather smells wonderful. It's nice and big. It holds a ton. And the strap is a little shorter than expected, so it fits really nicely cross body. Here, I'll show you. Oh my God, my boobs. So yeah, it just sits on the hip. I love the YSL detail here. It's not too blingy. Since I got this bag, I've been wearing it a ton. I really love it. I've never really had like a good basic black bag. So this was money well spent. I love, love, love this bag. Okay, so the next bag that I have here is a vintage Fendi Mama baguette bag. I love this bag and funny story I got this off of fashion file and I've wanted this bag ever since I was a 22 year old kid working at Holt Renfrew. Holt Renfrew is a designer department store here in Canada. When I used to work as a sales associate at this department store this bag cost $425 and I remember thinking oh my god that's so expensive that's all the money in the world that was like two decades ago and it also cost the same as my books in university that year. So I never bought it, I just couldn't afford it, but I'd always think about it. And I was on Fashion File a few months ago and there the bag was, and so I treated myself to it. And I just love it. I love the Fendi Zuka print, this tobacco brown and like black print. I just think it's so flattering with my skin tone. It also goes with everything and it's nice and roomy. It's beautiful. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's really eye-catching too. It's one of those bags that I wear it and I get a ton of compliments from other women. I just, oh, I love it. I'm so glad it's mine, finally. Okay, so next is my Celine mini belt bag. Again, I love this bag. I, I don't buy designer bags 
on impulse. I really research them. I will go to the store, try them on like three or four times. I'm like a salesperson's worst nightmare. But I just, if I'm gonna spend the money, it has to be perfect, because they're not cheap. And the Celine mini, mini belt bag, this is very me. It's very classic, feminine, ladylike. I love the size. The size is perfect. I, like I was a little over these really tiny designer bags that are really like all the rage right now. I wanted something that could hold all of my stuff and this just doesn't disappoint. The leather is beautiful. It's this pebbled leather that holds up really well. I was a little worried about this color. This is light taupe. It's like a, a really light beige. Um, but it doesn't get too dirty. If I get a mark on it, I just clean it with leather cleaner. I love the belt detail across the front. The knots on either end here. It's just such a great bag. I thought maybe the closure would be really annoying. You have to pull this down and then lift it up through the belt and you see there's a little clasp there and then it's zippered, but no, you get used to it pretty quickly. Sometimes I just leave it like that. I got a short, like a shorter um, shoulder strap. See, you just put it on like this, or you can use the top handle, it's just beautiful. I love this bag, I'm so glad it's in my collection. And if you turn it around, it's got a zippered pocket here, I just throw my phone in there. It's great, it's beautiful, love it. I, I, I want one in black. <laughs> Okay, so this next one is my Celine Trio bag. It is dead. I have used this to death. I use it at music festivals a lot. The corners are all busted. The leather is a little sad looking. The structure is gone. But I love this bag. They call it the Trio because it's three pouches snapped together. And it was just so versatile. If you wanted to, you could just unsnap it here. Ooh, and use it as a pouch but I would just keep the whole thing snapped together and use it as a um, crossbody handbag. So I don't know if you can see the color well, it's soft baby pink, the corners are all dead sadly, but it was such a great bag. If I can find one on consignment, I may buy another, but maybe in a different color, because this one is a little dead. Okay, last up is my Louis Vuitton carry-all. I bought this on consignment from Fashion File also, and this is something I use for overnight trips when I'm going to Toronto or wherever. Um, a really great little bag. I sometimes wish it had a shoulder strap because it can get heavy just holding the two top handles. Love the side pockets, and it's got a little like patch pocket on the inside, but it holds a ton. And I just love this, I love the Louis Vuitton monogram personally, especially for luggage. It's classic and beautiful. I don't think it'll ever go out of style. Love it. It's just a very classy overnight bag. Okay, I have a few designer accessories that I will show you too. I used to have a ton of Louis Vuitton wallets. I love, for wallets, I generally always buy from Louis Vuitton. I just think they're really nicely made and really nice functional designs. I used to have a lot of Louis Vuitton wallets and this thief stole them all. I also used to collect the keychains and he took all of them also. So I only have a few designer small leather goods left. So personally, I feel like designer small leather goods, designer jewelry, like small little things like that, that cost a ton of money aren't necessarily worth it. I would rather save that money and put it towards a designer handbag. Every now and then a small leather good catches my eye and I need to have it. For wallets though, I do like designer wallets. I love my Louis Vuitton wallets. I will invest in those. So, uh, first off is the Louis Vuitton monogram print business card holder. I got this to hold my business cards. I go through like a thousand business cards every month, every two months, so this has been very handy. But then I ended up using it more as a wallet anyways. This leather smells incredible. I love the smell of leather. I love leather. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. Anyways, this smells wonderful. It's soft and beautiful. The empreinte design is very, very classy. And it's got one large pocket, let's say, for the business cards and a small little pocket here. So I usually keep business cards and cash in here and you know, credit cards, debit cards in this first little, in this little card slot. 
This was about $475. I know that's a bit steep, especially for a small leather good, but I knew that I would get a lot of wear out of it. And then when I started using it as a wallet, it really became worth the price. I highly recommend this as a card holder. It's fantastic. I can fit usually about 40 to 50 business cards in here too, if that's what you mainly want it for. It's like pretty roomy. Next up is this vintage Fendi wallet. It's so funny, it's a little accordion wallet. And um, I collaborated with an online consignment shop called Thalamode. And this was like years ago when I first started blogging and this was my payment for the promotion. And I love it. I use it quite often actually when I want to switch things up. I love the bright yellow. It's like a nice canary yellow. And again, that Fendi Zuka print is one of my favorites. So here is a close up of this wallet. I love the yellow. It's Safiano leather with a Zuka print. And you just open up this tab and you've got all of this space for cards. And I double up the cards in here or put cash in there. I love it. It's just the right size. And last but not least is my trusty Louis Vuitton Damier Aben Zippy wallet. My husband bought this for me, geez, I think it was an anniversary gift or a birthday gift years and years and years ago. I feel Louis Vuitton's quality has slipped a bit. Maybe it's gotten better, but for a time there, the quality wasn't great. And I bought this when the quality was really good because it looks brand new. It's a great wallet. It's a little bigger than I hoped. It's also heavy, but it fits everything. This wallet's a bit of a mess, so excuse me. But I've got so much stuff in here, and I always come back to this wallet. I will switch up wallets every now and then. Like I have, I have tons of different wallets from other places, but not necessarily designer. And I always come back to this one. Absolutely love it. So I got this ages ago, and I think it was $690 and God knows what the price is now. Like every time I check in on these designer websites, I'm stunned at the price increases. It's, it's bananas. So that is my designer handbag collection. I do have a little wish list of handbags that I would like to buy in the future. I would love a Chloe test bag. I'll insert a picture of what that looks like if you guys don't know what it is. I also love the Chloe mini, the Chloe Faye mini backpack. I think that's great. I think Chloe does really beautiful designer bags, really beautiful things, but they're super trendy. So I'm always hesitant to spend all of that money on something that'll go out of style really fast. That being said, if you like something, just buy it. Who cares about trends and fads and all of that stuff? And I would love a classic Chanel medium double flat bag. I've been after one of these bags for years and years and years, but they're so expensive. I just in like good conscience cannot pull the trigger to buy one, but yeah, maybe I'll buy one secondhand. But I gotta admit, this bag is my holy grail bag. If I do buy one, I would like it to be brand new. I, I want that experience of going into the store and picking a brand new one out and having a sales associate wrap it beautifully for me and leave the boutique with this beautiful shopping bag. So we'll see how that goes. What designer handbags do you guys want? What are your favorite designer handbags? I would love to hear. Drop them in the comments section. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my Instagram at dominique.baker, not style domination, and check out my blog at styledomination.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It means the world that you take the time to watch my videos. So that wraps it up for now, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.